Hello, I'm Darren. We have breaking news. More than 600,000 Americans have kidney failure. While the number of people with kidney failure is enormous, the number of people with its precursor, chronic kidney disease, is staggering. An estimated 31 million Americans, or about 10% of the US population. Diabetes and hypertension cause two thirds of all cases of kidney disease. One out of every three Americans is at risk for kidney disease, and kidney disease is now among the top 10 causes of death in the United States. In addition, nine out of 10 people with early to moderate kidney disease don't know they have it, putting their health in jeopardy. Are you at risk? For more information, contact urbankidneyalliance.org. The life you save may be yours. What's going on? What's going on? This your boy Steve the Kidney Nurse. I had to rearrange some things, but I'm here. Share this broadcast. I'm on for about 15 minutes. Going to give you a great information session about bed bugs. How many warriors right now attended a dialysis clinic that had bed bugs? I mean, I can raise my hand because I worked in a clinic that had bed bugs, okay? So it's real, it's out there, it may not be at your clinic, but with the emergence of bed bugs, it could be come to a clinic near you. Now, how familiar are you with bed bugs? Do you know about bed bugs? Um, I'm telling you, bed bugs are on the rise. In fact, you may be hearing more about bed bugs in the local media. Uh, and this is due to increase over the last maybe 10 years in North America. Mainly this has uh, happened because of traveling, international traveling. So look, even though they're tiny, bed bugs can be seen by the naked eye. Now, give me one moment, and I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. Um, Hold on. I had my information going to somewhere else, and uh, that didn't work. So if you haven't seen a bed bug before, there you go, right there. That's how they look. Now, even though they are tiny, Bear buzz can be seen by the naked eye. Adult bear bugs are reddish brown. They're wingless insects and are oval and flattened in the pants. Now you can see it by this um, example. Each bear bug is about one fifth inch in length. All right, share this broadcast, y'all, because we got many warriors out here, international and national, and bed bugs are not just in the United States. They're all over the world. Bed bugs live off of blood and can survive many months without food. (laughs) I mean, many months without food, they survive on blood. Now, These guys are nocturnal. They feed and bite at night while you sleep. You won't even know. You wake up and the bottom of your leg bitten up. You probably think, oh, mosquito did it. But it could be bed bugs. Who knows? Um, The bites occur in a row of two or three. All right. Bed bugs can spread via a wide variety of circumstances. Now, check this out, guys. Infested bedding 
okay? Mattresses, luggage, clothing, and secondhand furniture. How many guys like to go furniture shopping at uh, secondhand stores where you get these antique furniture? You may not know. They could be in the crevices of there. Uh, hotels. When you lay your bags down at a hotel, you got to watch out where you lay your bags. Mattresses. I'm sorry. Homeless shelters. Furnished apartments and dormitories are most at risk. Now, look, um, you got people to come to dialysis on these um, state buses or the community bus that picks up multiple people from different places and they go to the same clinic. Now, you never know who may have uh, bed bugs on them. When I worked at a DeVita dialysis unit in Baltimore City, I kid you not, we had one patient that had bed bugs in her wig and, and under her clothes in her collar. We had one gentleman that had bed bugs in his shoes and in his pants. And we had to wear jumpsuits, white jumpsuits, and then spray ourselves down with alcohol. Even the sight of looking at these critters make you want to itch. So again, the place is mostly at risk and that... Um, Wide variety of circumstances where bed bugs can spread are infested bedding, mattresses, luggage, clothing, and secondhand furniture, hotels, homeless shelters, furnished apartments, and dormitories are most at risk. Bed bugs are not, I repeat, bed bugs are not thought to transmit human disease, but their bite can cause intense itching and scratching may cause the area to become infected. Now, you don't want that to happen because if you scratch the area, and your hands are not clean, or you have fingernails that have dirt under the nail bed, you can possibly uh, transmit staph or MRSA into that wound and make the situation worse. So again, no scratching because that may cause the area to become infected which can be uh, MRSA that leads to staph. Also, scratching also makes the itching worse. If bitten, avoid scratching the bites. Instead, wash the area with warm, soapy water and then apply an anti-itch cream. Again, avoid scratching the bites, okay? Wash the area with warm, soapy water and then apply an anti-itch cream. Next, pets such as dogs or cats, your friendly, your friendly pets. One good thing about your friendly pets, if you got a cat or a dog, they do not. Steve, the kidney nurse says they do not transmit bed bugs. Last but least, if you suspect, again, if you suspect your home may have bed bugs, inform your health care team. Also consider contacting a professional pest control company 
for an inspection. Guys, you're not going to get any information like this about bed bugs. Your facility is not going to talk to you about it. They don't have time. They're worried about COVID. Okay. But these, there are other situations that you still have to pay attention to. And bed bugs are one. So with that being said, most local health department websites provide fact sheets and additional information on this increasingly common pest. If you do get bed bugs and you come into the unit, you better bet your clinic will isolate you. All right. And they will treat you like you are affected. So know before you go, again, eight facts about bed bugs. Going to run back through it one more time. All right. And then we're gone. One, as I showed you, bed bugs, even though they are tiny, bed bugs can be seen by the naked eye. Adult bed bugs are reddish brown. They're wingless insects and are oval and flattened in appearance. Each bed bug is about one fifth inch in length. Bed bugs live off of blood and can survive many months without food. They are nocturnal, which means they feed and bite at night. They bite often occur in a row of two or three. Bed bugs can spread via a wide variety of circumstances. So no one is immune, especially if you ride on a, a city bus or you ride on a bus with other patients going to dialysis. Now, you can find bed bugs in infested bedding mattresses, luggage, clothing, and secondhand furniture. Now, hotels, homeless shelters, furnished apartments, and the dormitories are at most risk because they had the most amount of people there coming in and out. Bed bugs are not thought, again, they are not thought to transmit human disease, but their bite can cause intense itching and scratching and may cause the area to become infected. So watch out because you do not want to get MRSA scratching that um, that um, that bite. If bitten, avoid scratching the bite. What I told you, wash the area with soapy warm water and then apply an anti-itch cream. Pets such as dogs or cat do not transmit bed bugs. And last but not least, if you suspect your home may have bed bugs, inform your healthcare team privately because these jokers will spread the word. Also consider contacting a professional pest control for an inspection. I want to thank you guys for watching Steve, the kidney nurse. Be on the watch out for more impactful shows that will help you uh, manage through this disease. Thank you guys again. God bless you. Uh, peace and blessings. Oh, let me read the comments right quick. Uh, thank you, Jared, uh, uh, from watching over in YouTube. Thank you, guys. Absolutely. So we see you guys again, possibly tomorrow, with another impactful show, 15 minutes, possibly talking about anemia or um, maybe access care, but something that you'll be able to take and use for yourself. With that being said, God bless you, and stay tuned for more Steve the Kidney Nurse episodes. Peace and blessings. Thank you.